Hello everybody. Now we will discuss an interesting case. I will show you a CT image and an MRI image of a patient who presented with sudden headache. Now I want you to look at the CT image. What do you appreciate in the CT image? If you look at this, the frontal horns appear ballooned out. They look dilated. So what I see is there is bilateral ventriculomegaly and I see a hyperdense, more dense than the surrounding brain, a hyperdense well-defined rounded lesion in the area of the foramen of Monroe. Okay, are you able to appreciate? So what will be my uh, description? Hyperdense well-defined rounded lesion in the region of foramen of Monroe with bilateral ventriculomegaly which is in the anterior part of the third ventricle. So this is the posterior part, this is the anterior part. So what do we think of it? What is the differential that we think? This is a colloid cyst. Colloid cyst is hyperdense usually because of proteinaceous content. It is believed to be a remnant of paraphysis. Usually the only significance of this is that it can cause sudden obstruction leading to sudden hydrocephalus because of its critical location at the foramen of Monroe. If you look at it in the MRI image, this is where you will see this is a T1 weighted MRI image and the signal intensity of this cyst is usually variable but it, you may see it as hyper intense on T1 weighted image. This is the characteristic location of colloid cyst on a sagittal MR image. So this is an anterior third ventricle in the area of foramen of Monroe colloid cyst. Thank you.